your channel this is K Critiques let us get straight into it as you can tell by the title of today's video we are talking about a skin thumb specifically my favorite couple disclaimer i love these two they are my favorite couple prehaza they are so cute and i love them and i follow their journey because i've been watching skim sum for a long time i follow their journey from the commencement of their relationship up until today okay i love them together but we need to talk about it are they toxic for each other is the situation toxic or should we give them a chance so i am posing this question and sadly all the facts point to yes they are toxic for each other but at the same time my heart just says no they belong together okay now Olehasa and pretty started dating i think it was earlier this year as i pretty started dating last year around june and at the time, Upriti was in a relationship with Ukatlehu Peterson, but she cheated on him with Ulehasa. They had a whole lot of fun. She ended up not going back home. She was staying with Ulehasa, and then obviously, Ukatlehu, uh, Tibos, and Ukwaito came to fetch her because they thought Ulehasa kidnapped her. And he. That's how they broke up. So at the time, Lehasa thought she's choosing Kat over me. She's leaving me. She's abandoning me. So he was quite bitter. He was very, very bitter about the situation. But Upriti went back because she didn't want Mantuli to kick her out and just own her, which is understandable. Mantuli is pretty, pretty like uh, hardcore. So I understand where Priti was coming from. So fast forward a few months later, Priti actually discovers that she is pregnant. She is pregnant and she is carrying Lehasa Mopos's child. <laughs> she finds out that she's pregnant with Lehasa's child. They go to Lehasa to tell him, hey, you've made a mistake here. You have to pay damages. And funny thing is Lehasa has always wanted a child. So us as Prehasa fans were rooting hard for them. I was rooting for them. I was like, Pretty, you need to go back to Chobik and live your best life. You're gonna give Lehasa an heir. You're gonna give Lehasa a baby, which is what he always wanted. Like he's been wanting a baby since he was married to Zandi, but Zandi was sick and it was a whole thing. And I was like, finally, they're getting back together. But Lehasa was still bitter and he was actually in a new relationship with another woman. He didn't have the child. And he was like, this is a money grabbing scheme. Opiti just wants my money. This is not true. And also at the time, I was the side dude. So how sure are we that this is not Kat's child? And so Opiti decides that she is gonna fetus deletus. She's gonna pull a fetus deletus and she actually gets rid of the child. Few months down the line, now Ulehasa um runs into pretty at capsies and they have a sit down they talk about the situation they apologize to each other they realize what's been going on and they realize that mm, lehasa realizes that oh pretty wasn't lying the baby was mine and she did terminate the child and obviously that hurts and then they get back together and us as priyasa fans are like yes they're back together but is the situation now toxic or is it not? Now, I know pre house fans, you might be like, no, nope, it's not toxic, they belong together. I agree with you, but let us look at the facts. So when they got back together, Pretty ends up being now the side chick. So when they first got together, Lahasa was the side dude. Now Pretty is the side chick, right? Because Lahasa was engaged. Lahasa is engaged when he decides to pursue Upriti again. Fine. We're like, okay, let's excuse that. Ugh, man, it, like, Pretty was also cheating on cats. Okay, crazy Naya. We're gonna get rid of her soon because these two belong together, right? Mantuli is like, it's either you stay here and you let go of Lahasa 
or you go be with him and get out of my house to identity. Pretty decides to choose Lehasa over her family because she loves him. She loves him and that's understandable. But now, look at this. Pretty is now in Joburg. Pretty has never lived anywhere outside of Tiflo. Pretty is now in Johannesburg. She doesn't have any friends. She doesn't have any family. She does have family, but they've disowned her. So the only person that she knows personally is Lehasa. She only knows Lehasa in Johannesburg. If she's not with Lehasa, she's alone. Pretty is a student. Lehasa is a successful businessman. So there's a power dynamic. Pretty doesn't contribute to the rent, the groceries. So there's that bit of a power dynamic. Plus, Lehasa is older than Pretty. Lehasa is older than Pretty, right? So there's that bit of a power dynamic where it's like Lehasa can sort of use money to control her, but he doesn't. He doesn't, but there is that bit of a power dynamic, right? If Pretty were to leave Lehasa, what is she going to do? How is she going to fend for herself? How is she going to make a living? Because she, she's a student. She doesn't have any qualifications. She doesn't have any money. She comes from an impoverished background. She doesn't come from a well-off family. Her family has disowned her. Her mother doesn't want her back in the house. She has no friends in Joburg. None of her friends that she has, maybe. Like, oh, Eunice. Eunice doesn't have a job. She stays with the family. She's recovering from here. We have, she doesn't have money anymore. So literally, she doesn't have anywhere to go. Outside of Lehasa, she has nowhere to go. And another thing for me is that it seems like Pretty is the one who's making the major sacrifices in this relationship. When you're the one constantly compromising in the relationship, you're the one who's constantly making the decisions where you have to be the one to bite your tongue or you have to be the one who doesn't get what they want in the relationship in order to make your partner happy. That's not a fair compromise. Lehasa hasn't given anything up. He hasn't given up any of his businesses. He hasn't given up any of his money. He hasn't given anything up. Pretty is always the one. She gave up her family. She gave up her life to move to Johannesburg. And now there's this baby that's been thrown in her face. That's another thing. Ukwezi is now pregnant. Pretty is reminded, I was, once pre I was pregnant with your first child. I was supposed to be the one to give you an heir. But you disowned my child. And that's the thing, like, you disowned my child but you're embracing this child you're so ecstatic about this child but you weren't about mine now this baby's being constantly thrown in her face i remember one day where uli Hassan was like i hope crazy hasn't done anything to hurt the baby he said that to pretty knowing that pretty terminated her pregnancy in the past so basically she has hurt his baby before and you're saying that to her and it's so insensitive because now this pregnancy is being thrown in her face oh today we went to listen to the heartbeat oh today we saw the baby on the scan he was the size of a little prude oh it was so amazing listening to my baby's heartbeat that must have been so heartbreaking for pretty that, that is heartbreaking for pretty and now there's this woman who you are engaged to who's now making our lives miserable and for me it's just like did pretty bite off more than she can chew another thing is okay the baby's here how will the situation work is pretty ready to be a stepmother at such a young age i mean she loves lehasa and she'll do anything for him it's clear she gave up her own family for him but it's like is is all of this worth it i i, I honestly when you look at the facts and you put the feelings aside it's not it's it's not worth it i feel like Upriti just needs to cut her losses and let go and if lahasa really because another thing is she can't expect lahasa to abandon his child she can't do that what can she so what can she do what must she do and also even now ukwez is using this child to hurt Pretty, because she knows Ubuti, Ubuti, uh, birthday is coming up on October 7th, and I can't wait for that. I can't wait for that episode to see how everything goes. It's her birthday. She has nobody in Joburg. She doesn't know anybody. So it's a thing of like, she will be spending her birthday alone because Ule Hasa has to go and pay damages for the child. But I feel like when they get to KZN, 
he's gonna end up uh, like um, paying Lobola for crazy. That's what I feel. I feel like this is such a toxic situation. Like if I was in Pretty's shoes, I would have cut my losses a long time ago. After you found out you were the side chick and you went to jail, I would have been like, I, <laughs> I would have been like, no, you know what? This isn't worth it. And I would have cut my ties with him and just gone back to my mother's house and live my life, like carry on with my life and let them be a happy family because mm, I love them together. I love them. I hope they make it. But at the same time, I'm just like, I hope they make it though like i love them they're toxic but they give me life like Prihasa, other than crazy like if they got, got rid of crazy most of the issues would go away like some people i've seen on twitter i'm gonna put up some tweets here someone was saying maybe quiz is gonna fall down the stairs some people are saying crazy storyline is annoying can't you just let Prihasa be happy and i also agree why can't we just have black love without any like baby mamas and drama on this side and drama on, and cheating and lying and scheming why can't they just be happy like skip some writers don't want us to see black love in its full entirety john and Maggie. john was a cheater tibos moved to overseas mouth it is busy here on her own i just i i honestly i don't know i don't know what to say I, um, like rationally and logically i would say pretty must leave but my emotions are saying she will stay and that their love will conquer all but we all know that in the real world love is only a small fraction of what a relationship is all about like nobody can bear all of this on their own like let's 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 wrap it up let's finish it so yeah that is my video is prehasa toxic or not please do let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below and please do let me know any other topics you would like me to discuss from any other south african television show like comment subscribe share with your friends and i'll see you in the next video bye